In this video, let's take a look at the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is also a discrete distribution. However, now it's taking on countable integer values. So for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, but they're countable positive numbers. With a Poisson distribution, we're also typically dealing with defects or things that happen in those countable integer numbers. In this example, we're looking at defects in a fiber optic cable, and we know the average number of defects is 1.2 defects per 50 meters of cable. So one thing to note initially here is we will still have a continuous number because when we take our defects, when we take the average of that, then that could be, that will be a continuous number. But the basics of it are that we're counting defects, which is why it is a Poisson distribution. In this example, then, we want to calculate the probability that there are exactly three flaws or defects in 50 meters of cable. We know that we're solving for three defects, and we know the average number of occurrences per unit interval. This is another sign that it's a Poisson distribution because we have an average for some unit interval. And in this, in this case, the unit interval is for every 50 meters. Our lambda value is 1.2. And then our average, oh, sorry. And then we're looking for the probability of exactly three defects. So our x value is three. And in this example, to make sure that there's no mistakes in, in typing in the formulas I do this. I've also, I, auto, I already have all the formulas typed in and you'll see me changing the font color. For the Poisson distribution, the mean is equal to our lambda value. We already know the average number of defects, which is our mean, which is 1.2. And our standard deviation is equal to the square root of our mean. So in this case, the square root of cell B9, which is the same as B12. And then our probability is e to the negative lambda multiplied by lambda raised to the x power divided by x factorial. In our equation, when we're typing in E, that is a, a specific constant, and so we'll use the EXP function. So it's EXP raised to the negative value for lambda, which was B9 in our equation. So our probability that there are exactly three flaws is 0.867 or 8.67%. We can also calculate this very easily with an Excel function. With our Excel function, we can calculate the PDF and the CDF. The function in Excel is Poisson.dist, and then we're going to take our x value, which in this case is cell B10, and that's the three defects we're trying to understand the probability of occurring. The mean which is our lambda in cell B9, and we're doing the PDF, so we're gonna say false because we're not doing the cumulative. And that gives us the same value of 8.67%. So that's only three defects. Our CDF will be up to and including three defects. So here we're going to add in the, pop, the probability of zero defects, one defect, two defect, and three defects. So it's the same equation as before for our PDF. However, at the end, we are making sure it's cumulative. So we have a one in our equation. And in this case, then, there's a 96.62% that there are up to three defects in those 50 meters of cable. If we want to know four or more, 
then we're going to take that function and we're going to subtract it from 1. So 1 minus our calculation for the cumulative, and that gives us a value of 3.38%. There, there will be four or more defects, which we would expect to be pretty small because on average we have 1.2 defects. Here again, we can go through and calculate our PDF for each individual one, and we can graphically represent what that data looks like. So in this case, I've calculated it for up to 25 defects. But as you can see, it's really once you get up to seven or more, the probability is zero or less. Graphically, again, we always want to pair our information with graphs so that we can visually see what's happening within our data. On average, we have 1.2 defects, so we would expect on average to have a fairly small number of defects. And our PDF shows us this information with our distribution at the small end. The cumulative, since we're adding everything together, we can see that once we get to you know, five, six or more defects, that we've reached our 100% very quickly. So we would expect, though, to have zero, one, or two defects the majority of the time. As we look at this, again, from a business or managerial perspective, we would want to understand then how this impacts our product that we're in charge of. So on average, we have 1.2 defects per 50 meters of, of cable. If I'm selling that cable, then I need to understand what the customer's using it for, what amount of defects are acceptable or not. And as I'm making claims about my product, I can say, with a level of certainty, the probability that there will be no defects, one defect, or two defect. And I could use that information as I'm marketing my product or as I'm trying to improve it if it doesn't meet my customer's needs.